I've noticed some common symptoms when a church leader has an unclear mindset. And today, I wanna to give you a few of the main ones that I've noticed that you can watch out for. Hey there, I'm Ryan Franklin and this is Church Leader Made Simple. And I'm here to help you get the clarity needed to move your church forward. I'd love for you to join me weekly. Just hit the subscribe button and the bell to get notified as soon as I post a new video. And without any further delay, let's get into it. The first thing that happens when we can't see clearly, it creates an unhealthy fear within us. Fear is a real thing. If you've ever found yourself fearing something, then you know that fear can be very difficult to overcome. And it's also not something that, that we can ignore. But in the midst of reality, thankfully, we have uh, 2 Timothy 1.7, For God hath not given us a spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. And so if we find ourselves with fear, we have to understand that God didn't give us the spirit of fear. And we can, there's no doubt we can overcome it. But that doesn't mean it's not real, and it doesn't mean that it's not difficult. Listen to what Paul says in 1 Corinthians 2, verses 3 through 5. And I was with you in weakness and in fear and in much trembling. And so Paul is acknowledging there that fear is real. And my speech and my preaching was not with enticing words of man's wisdom, but in demonstration of the Spirit and of power, that your faith should not stand in the wisdom of men, but in the power of God. Here's reality. Our flesh is weak and fear is gonna come at times and, and we have to embrace that fact. But we also have to understand that, that we get rid of fear, that we can and it's not gonna be the wisdom of men, but it's through the power of God. Let's read 1 John 4, 18. There is no fear in love, but perfect love casteth out fear. So perfect love is the antidote to fear. And, and where do we find perfect love? The only place we can find it is through Jesus Christ. And when we turn ourselves to Him in the midst of fear, the power of His perfect love can literally cast out that fear. The second thing that happens when we can't see clearly, it brings us into a destructive mindset. We can easily spiral. We can damage relationships. We can lose credibility. We can, we can do things that lessen the impact of our, of our leadership. It's destructive to our leadership ability. Proverbs 25, 28 says, He that hath no rule over his spirit is like a city that is broken down and without walls. So what's the antidote to a destructive mind? 1 Corinthians 9, 27 says, But I keep under my body and bring it into subjection, lest that by any means when I have preached to others, I myself should be a castaway. And so we have to bring ourselves into subjection. What does that mean? We have to submit ourselves to something or someone in our lives, to a church, to pastors, to leaders, to close friends. We have to submit ourselves to key people in our lives that we love and trust that can speak into our lives, that can bring clarity to us when we're in a fog. And we have to learn to ask for those relational nutrients as we submit ourselves to one another. And of course, ultimately, we have to submit ourselves unto God as well. The third thing that happens when we can't see clearly is it damages relationships. Many times, Satan's tactics lead to relational hurt, and it's amazing how unforgiveness begins to develop, and it leads to damage and possibly even to destruction in our key relationships. Matthew 6, verse 14, For if you forgive men their trespasses, your heavenly Father will also forgive you. Verse 15, But if, but if you forgive not men their trespasses, neither will your Father forgive your trespasses. There's nothing that Satan would desire more with the people who are listening to this session and to figure out how to create some sort of hurt 
and unforgiveness in your life. Because he knows that eventually hurt and unforgiveness is going to lead to a division between you and God. And according to Ephesians 4 verse 32, the antidote to unforgiveness is a tender heart. A humility that can only come from God. And if you're watching on YouTube, I'd love for you to comment below about uh, what Ephesians 4.32 means to you. Tell about a time that being tenderhearted helped one of your leadership relationships in your life. Now I realize that there are many other things that can, that can happen when Satan begins to blind the minds of church leaders. But this is the three that I see personally, routinely. This is the three that I feel are, are the most prevalent and potentially the most destructive in a leader's life. And I want you to think about your life and, and I want you to evaluate your life through the lens of this question. Am I seeing any of these three things in my life? And if so, what can I do differently to, to get a different result? And so I gave you some antidotes to these specific problems, but in this next session, stay tuned. I want to share with you a few things that will lead to a better mindset altogether and ultimately a better rhythm of life with Christ and the people that we love most. Thank you so much for giving me your time and attention. And I encourage you, please hit the like button. It really will make a difference. And I would love for you to visit churchleadermadesimple.com. There's a free seven session course called Leader Life and Rhythm that you can't find anywhere else. I'd love for you to check it out. Have a great day. God bless you.